FIFA World Cup 1994, the third participation of Nigeria, and yet the best. You scored so many headers throughout your career. What or was it your first header or best header against Bulgaria? Well, I think uh, as a player, you know, uh, having the opportunity to be in the World Cup and then also scoring, I think it's an amazing moment. Uh, I remember that game against Bulgaria in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, we all went into that game with a, a high hope and with a lot of expectations in terms of uh, being our first time of uh, you know playing in the World Cup. But of course, you know, uh, playing in the World Cup and uh, scoring a goal, I think, is so amazing, and uh, uh, it gives you, you know, a lot of confidence to continue, you know, to to demonstrate and prove who you are in terms of your quality as a player. You scored a marvelous goal that day, but the guy who got the spotlight was uh, Rashidi Akini because of the celebration. It was so authentic. Well, Akini was uh, was the star of the team. And uh, going into the World Cup, uh, and uh, I think he scored the first goal. Uh, a cross from George Finney from the right side, and then uh, he pushed the ball into the net. And I think we needed that kind of goal. We needed the goal to, to establish ourselves into the team. Uh, uh, looking at the Bulgarian team with a lot of great players like Stoshkov, Balakov, Diodanov. Uh, these are great players that are playing at top level, and uh, most of us are, you know, uh, are playing in Europe, and some of us are playing in Africa. But you know, uh, for Yekini, uh, we have always looked onto him, and uh, when he scored the goal, like, you know, everybody were happy. Uh, people were happy, and uh, the confidence of the team, you know, begins to grow, and uh, we believe that uh, uh, we have the opportunity or the possibility of winning the game. Yeah, another unforgettable element of the of that tournament for Nigeria was the shirt. 28 years uh, have passed and people keep remembering the shirt. It was so unique. Yeah, the shirt was so unique and it was so in terms of uh, uh, attractive and uh, you know it's a catching. How will I put it? It's a kind of a catching flash when you look at the jersey. Uh, everybody wants to associate with the jersey. I think it was a beautiful jersey that was made by Adidas. And uh, today we are trying to replicate the jersey from Nike, but I know it's not going to be the same because that jersey was unique and that jersey was a, a special jersey in terms of uh, uh, for us as a nation and as a, a team be playing the first time in the World Cup and then coming up with such amazing jersey. I think it was so attractive to people and everybody wants to associate with the jersey and also with the team. What does it feel entering the field and your opponent is called Diego Armando Maradon? Well, it's a very big, uh, <laughs> I think, inspiration in terms of, like uh, I particularly, I grew up uh, watching Diego playing in the World Cup in Mexico. And then after some years, I was privileged to, to be on the same field with him in the World Cup and played against him. I think it's something inspiring. It's an amazing thing. It's an opportunity. And then uh, you look at him and uh, you see that this is someone that, uh, you know, uh, that can move a lot of people with just the talent he got. And then today you are standing and then going to play against him. I think it's a, for me, it's a very good privilege and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm happy that I was able to play the against him. It was uh, his last ever international game. That makes it an even more special event. Yeah, that was his last game. I think after the game, you know, they, they took him for, for the doping. But of course, uh, you cannot forget what he has done and uh, his contributions to the game. The game against Italy was uh, painful. Your goal was more than enough till the last minute of the game. Ah, it was a sad. Uh, I think that was one of the longest nights. That game was played around one o'clock, and after that, we went to the hotel. It was a very long night, a very long thinking. Uh, what uh, we could have done to be better, to be in a position to, you know, to achieve our objectives, but of course. 
we were not at, uh, at that time. We scored earlier, if I'm not mistaken, at 26th of uh, minutes of the game. Uh, through a corner and then the, the rebound came to my direction. I just gave it a touch and it went in. We defended very well towards two minutes to the end of the game. But unfortunately, you know, we committed uh, some uh, naive uh, mistakes and uh, we were punished by that. Uh, the Italians, they have a lot of experience. They have a lot of players, great players with experienced players. So uh, when you commit such a, a, a blunder, how will I put it, such mistakes, you know, they capitalize on that by through uh, Baggio, who was at the best at that uh, World Cup uh, in the United States of America. But of course, it was a painful exit. Uh, we had it in our arm to progress to the next stage, but uh, uh, we were not able to, to, you know, to keep it clean and maintain uh, the, the, the lead that we had at, from the beginning of the game.